Well, good evening, friends and family. Well, I don't know if my family watches. Your family watches. I don't know if my family, <laughs> my family does watch. That is. Yeah. I, let me let me play like the little violin for myself right now. I don't think my family watches. <laughs> Everybody feel bad for me. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's all good. I really don't know if they watch or not. Um, but that's okay. We've got a great show for you guys. And even if it's not my family watching, the heck with them. I don't care. <laughs> I'm literally dying. <laughs> Say hi, Clay, and lots, then we'll throw that. Yeah, <laughs> lots, lots to talk about tonight. Lots going on. Pack, packed show. We got a lot, of, lots to talk about. You know, there's going to be one day. There's going to be one week where I do really smooth intro <laughs> and outro for the show. This is not that week, <laughs> but one day, guys, I'm going to do it. You know how it's going to happen? I'm just going to shut up and I'm going to let Clay start the show. I think that's what we need to do. I think next week, hold me to it. Hold me to it. Be like, I got this. Have you seen the shows I do by myself? They're not any better. <laughs> I think you really do a fantastic not. job. I, yeah. I think you're like, you're very smooth. I think you flow from one subject to the next. You don't have, um, you know, the, the, the laughter thing that I do that every time I, I see it in here, I actually, I twitch. So guys, if you don't know this, I, I, um, I, I do the editing for the show. They're producing everything. So don't knock it. You know, I mean, it is what it is. You get what you get. What is it? You, you get what you get and you don't get upset. But Um, but yeah, so it is incredibly hard to sit and watch yourself, especially when you realize, oh, I was just rambling on and on. I was not making any sense there. I just said a whole bunch of nothing, just like Kamala does. And I think I'm morphing into her. It's it's really difficult. And it's OK, though. It's OK. I got this. <laughs> Listen, You're never funny. mind me. You, thank you. Listen, thank yeah, you. You know laughing. what? Your laugh is I'll missed. You, Every time you're yeah. away, your laugh is missed. We all miss it. I appreciate that. I'll tell you what, we really do have the kindest, um, most gracious followers uh, of our content and everything. They are so sweet. They say the nicest things. They're always like giving you an add a boy, add a girl. They're they're so, they're just amazing. And the only time someone says anything negative is if they're a troll. Because those are the only ones that say negative things. Everybody else has got. If you're going to say something like that needs constructive criticism, our our folks are literally the best at it. They're like, maybe you might want to, blah blah blah. Or what if trying this? It's so kind. It's you know, it's like a compliment sandwich. Like you guys are so great. But I bet if you did this, <laughs> they're on our team. They are. They they're are. on our team. They, they are. want it to be better. I appreciate yeah. the feedback. Yep. They, um, they got our back every week. So we appreciate you guys very, very much. And, uh, I bet they would really appreciate it if I would just stop rambling and, and get right into it, dude. So as always, we remind you that we record on Tuesday, you see this on Thursday. So this is the news that happened today. Of course, it'll be two days old when, uh, when you see this, but, um, this, are we surprised? Are we? I'm not. I'll tell you right off the bat. I'm not. Tell me your thoughts on this. So I'm I'm not surprised at the verdict. It was pretty cut and dry. I think they dug into a lot of Biden family, you know, shenanigans. There's, right. you know, he said some not so very nice things about his stepmom. He uh, was pretty. I don't know. He's pretty horrific as a human being. But yes, we, we all knew. But now there's pr proof positive. Um, mm -hmm. but it proved that the laptop is valid, which I think is the most important thing. Was that your laptop? For real? I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. but I also think this is a bit of a diversion. Um, right. I don't think, I don't think he's going to spend any jail time. Um, which because of that, you know, won't even give his father opportunity to go backwards on his vow to not pardon his son. Mm -hmm. uh, so since he's not going to go to jail, then the the pardon he's still the president's son. Um, he's right. still Biden. People are still paying a stupid amount of money for his horrific paintings. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, there's no reason to clear his record because it doesn't matter. He can be a felon right. and it's not going to stop anything. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's all this is, is it's shiny object. Look over here. Yes. Right. And yes. that's the end of it. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think they had to sacrifice somebody. Right. They had to be like, well, who's the most expendable here? You know, who's already a mess? Like you can't redeem this guy. You can't fix anything here. So we might as well just th throw him under, throw him under, let him be the one. And, you know, like you said, shiny object, or in his case, tarnished, trashy object. Everybody go look at the, the train wreck. Never mind all the rest of the train wreck. Just look at this train wreck right here and they'll do their shenanigans. But um, so so for for anyone who hasn't been following because it just grosses you out so much and you, you know, try not to know any of the things. But now I'm going to tell you the things. Um, so they conv convicted Hunter Biden on all three felony counts. It's not 34 counts. I'm sorry, guys. It's not 34. It's only three, um, including, let's see, including lying to a federally federally licensed firearms dealer, making a false claim on federal firearms background check form and being in possession of an illegally obtained firearm. Uh, he faces up to 25 years in prisons. Yeah, right. For his crimes and up to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in fines, which, you know, isn't that just one painting for him yeah he's gonna get fined there there's definitely yeah. that's where they're gonna get him it's gonna be the monetary um right. i i think you know if it's uh you know if there's prison if there's a a sentence involved um it'll be house arrest um it won't be anything right. you know ankle monitor kind of thing at most mm -hmm. and i don't even think that's gonna happen um yeah so yeah three three charges three can mm -hmm. you know uh, guilty, you know, guilty verdicts on all three. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, we said this a couple of weeks ago, just the fact that they even tried to hide behind the second amendment was gross, you know, by mm -hmm. the party that's trying to take away everybody's guns. Um, yep. you know, you've got it, the fact that he pled not guilty to all this as a, you know, with all the evidence that was out there, mm -hmm. it was just, the whole thing was just an absolute sham, but it was trying to take away a little bit of, you know, a little bit of attention from the the mess of the current administration, but really, I think it, the timing of it kind of backfired. Because if you think mm. about it, right after the President Trump trial, yeah, so yes. nobody's even like that. You know, oh, he's a felon, he's this, he's that, and then it's like, right. um, hey, by the way, um, that's probably going to get uh, you know a mistrial, and they're going to have to start all over again. And then you get the Hunter thing afterwards. So it really mm -hmm. has kind of taken all the steam out of and all the pressure off of the Trump verdict, inadvertently, right. which I don't think was the intent at all. But I think the timing of it worked out that way. No, they probably I'm guessing they probably thought we'd be so hyper focused on, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they thought we'd be hyper focused on on Trump and ignore all of that. And, um, you know, it just kind of validated everything that uh, so many people. I can raise my hand on that, have been saying all along from the minute the stuff about the laptop um, started leaking and coming out. It's like, yeah, no, that tracks. That tracks. This guy's a scumbag. You know, yeah. I mean, he truly is. Were it not for, you know, Biden crime family money, he would be some slug on some street corner dealing crack to little kids. You know, I mean, that is who this guy is. He is He'd gross. be gross. Yeah, I'm convinced he would, if, if not for his dad being who he was, he'd be dead. And it would yeah. be, you know, either an, an overdose or mm -hmm. it would be, you know, a drug deal gone bad or something. But yeah. he's just that kind of filthy human being that, you know, that the, that would be his his ultimate end. But again, saved by money and power. It is mm -hmm. what it is. Um, but I again, I guilty on three counts. I don't think he'll spend a minute in jail. I think the. Right financial penalty will be pretty significant. Um, but mm -hmm. again, I, I think this amounts to essentially nothing. Yeah. So I'm probably wrong, but I will say there is part of me that says, you know, I could actually see them giving them some jail time and only because Biden would think or the Biden team, Biden doesn't think at all. Like there's nothing happening there. We know that. <laughs> I'm a little spicy today, aren't I, Clay? <laughs> a little bit spicy. You like spicy? Spicy's good. Spicy's good, right? Um, yeah, part of me says, like, let's face it, Biden, even when he was cognitively um 
present. Um, he doesn't care about anything, you know, but himself he, in his image and all of his, or what he thinks is his image. And um, I really honestly wouldn't be surprised if, if they gave him a little jail time, because I feel like in their mind, they'd be like, yeah, but that'll make, that'll make, Biden look really like strong, like not even my son is above the law. You know, who knows? Who knows? I don't think he, you know. Well, there, there's a lot of reasons he won't go to jail. And one of them is he's a security risk. Mm. I mean, oh, oh my gosh. What a great know, point. Yeah. Um, how would you like to be the. Yeah. How would you like to be the warden of the prison where the president's son is and have to provide security for him? Mm. on a daily basis because you know i mean you know prison is what it is especially when you start getting into violent crime like high level sure. you know max security kind of stuff if he even got there but even even some of the lower security prisons there's a lot of violence that goes on in there and they would have to protect him i mean epstein clearly didn't hang himself so right. there's always that you know mm-hmm. um but i i wouldn't want to be the the warden or the guard on shift or no. anybody else associated with that. So he's mm-hmm. a security risk. Um, you know, he could, uh, a lot of things could happen. I, I don't think, I highly doubt that he spends any time in jail. And there's a multitude of reasons. One, I just think that it's never going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's legal precedent being set here, right? He's the first right. presidential child to get convicted of a felony. Um, mm-hmm. you know, he didn't get the protection that old Teddy Kennedy got as the brother of a right. you know, former president. Um, but if he doesn't serve jail time, mm-hmm. then what is to stop anybody else from trying to purchase a firearm illegally for whatever reason, because they have this, you know, precedent will be set, you know, yeah. it'll be U S versus Biden, you know, right. Your Honor, when it comes to sentencing, I, I quote U S versus Biden, and yes. uh, he received no jail time, you know, mm-hmm. um, so they got to be careful with this. But I, I still believe zero jail time. Zero. Right. Yeah. I mean, that this has put them in a very difficult position for that alone. I mean, you know, long list of reasons why. But that that is a really, really good one, because let me tell you, if I if I were someone facing the same charges, you know, average Joe facing the same charges, you, you better sure. damn well believe that's the first thing I want my lawyer pulling up. Like, wait yeah. a minute, what's what's up with that? You know, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk 100%. about that for a minute. Yep. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. We'll see what happens. I can't I, I, you know, I don't and I don't mean this like in a gleeful way, but I I can't wait to, to, to see what happens with this. Yeah. Sentencing will be interesting for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we should take a poll. I'd like to take a poll. I don't know if I can do this in like our comment section. I probably not. If I can figure out a way to do it, but uh, definitely curious what you guys think is going to happen. Let's let's take guesses. Take guesses. Tell me in the comments. Sure. Tell us in the comments. Um, what do you think is going to happen with him? We won't even like. We'll do this with Trump also uh, as we get closer to sentencing. We'll we'll do that too. But you know, might as well since we're on, we're talking about Hunter right now. Go ahead and pop it in the comments what you think is going to happen. I'm definitely curious. Um, not the only, you know, as if that's not enough, not the only big thing going on. We've got, uh, the, the big Fauci COVID hearing that was pretty, um, wow. Yeah. In some ways. So again, today's, today's Tuesday. Today's the Cuomo, yeah. the beginning of the Cuomo testimony. Right. So we don't even know at this point, you know, what, uh, what was said today. I know that he was brought up on you know, brought up on the stand, he was going to testify today. So they're digging mm-hmm. into every facet of this, which is yeah. long overdue, truthfully, um, but mm-hmm. but definitely do. So, right. um, you know, the short version of the Fauci testimony, <laughs> all, all it did was prove that everybody who was called a conspiracy theorist um, a, a couple of years ago was right. Yes. Uh, you know, this was not a wet market people eating bats crap that right. they were trying to shovel at everybody uh this was the wuhan lab this was gain of function this mm-hmm. was you know nih funded partially funded it was everything we thought it was that everybody right. said it wasn't that we were all mm-hmm. being told we we're all being you know they were trying to convince all of us that it wasn't true and it is and pr- truthfully I, and i'm not i'm not overstating this i believe this honestly crimes mm-hmm. against humanity Fauci should be in jail. 
He, yes. he is, to me, no different. And I know this is going to sound very harsh, but what he did and what he did to America, society, mm-hmm. our youth, our elderly, you know, the mental the anguish that he people put people through, that families that he ruined, the businesses that he put up. This guy is not a lot different than some of the folks involved in the Holocaust working for the Nazi party, truthfully. I, I, I really I agree. think that horrible of a human being. He truly is. He truly is. He, he I won't say single-handedly, but he definitely is the face and the, the active uh, participant leader of destroying the the fabric of our of our culture really we are the the landscape of our culture is and i don't want i i don't want to say permanently change right now it feels like it is and and i hope that's not true but it is so dramatically changed and and the amount of people who died the amount of people who died alone without their family members because of their bullshit rules i mean and for him to so callously and carelessly say, I don't really know where that six foot thing came from. I don't know. It sounded good. Like, you know, paraphrasing, of course, but that's the gist of it. Like, I don't know. Somebody said it and we just went with it, you know, and basically saying like all of the things that we told people to do, there was actually no medical reason for it. It just sounded good and, you know, gave people this feeling and, you know, and here's something. So they play this in the testimony, something that he was caught on a, um, a recording saying, I think it was like to an interviewer. Right. Did you happen to catch that? I'll play it. I'll play yeah, it. Here right. it is. Get hard for people to to live their lives so they'd feel pressured to get vaccinated. Could we re, re, uh, run the audio clip on that, please? Once people feel empowered and protected legally, you are going to have schools, universities and colleges are going to say, you want to come to this college, buddy? You're going to get vaccinated. Lady, you're going to get vaccinated. Yeah. Big corporations like Amazon and Facebook and, and, and all of those others are going to say, you want to work for us, you get vaccinated. And it's been proven that when you make it difficult for people in their lives, they lose their ideological bullshit and they get vaccinated. When you make it difficult. Yep. Wow. Wow. I mean, I, I feel like that needs to be broadcast everywhere. Just just that portion of it, that mentality and the like I said before, the callousness of it all is so appalling to me. I'm like I'm livid. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm smiling inside. I, I really I, you, what you said could not be. Um, any closer to the truth because he, he truly is the guy's a monster and um, and we've all suffered for it. So I, I truly hope something comes of this with him. You know, and we're still finding stuff out. One, you know, his testimony, and I don't know if you caught that, you know, the very, I think it was the beginning, probably early in his testimony, he talked about how his his life, his family, family's lives had been threatened and, you know, all, and it was this sob story. Everybody should feel mm-hmm. sorry people are unreasonable and it's like you know excessive and all this other stuff and zero acknowledgement zero humility that he literally killed people with his decisions Mm -hmm. ruined lives ruined businesses ruined families basically by making crap up like you said six feet and you know Mm -hmm. all this other stuff that came along with it Um, right so i I mean just arrogance to the nth degree uh, but we're yeah. still finding stuff out. I saw two. Th- well, they talked about the fact that um, one, it's not a vaccine officially. It is right. no longer a vaccine because it doesn't have the efficacy that to allow it to be called legally a vaccine. It's a treatment. Mm-hmm. So we all got lied to because they forced this through. They forced it through as fast as they could without the mm-hmm. proper testing, research, and everything else that comes along with it. So it's not a vaccine. It doesn't prevent. Right. Jack, it helps. Right, it helps fend it off, but it doesn't prevent anything. So that's one. Right, and two. I just saw a thing today, today, right, mm-hmm. June, June 2024, that we are starting to see officially see the effects. Studies are being done on the kids of today with eating disorders, gender dysmorphia. They are attributing it to the effects of COVID and not the virus itself. The conditions that the kids were put in 
that mm-hmm. were taken out of school, that were put into isolation, that weren't yeah. socializing, all of those things, the decisions that came from NIH and mm-hmm. everybody else, all the health departments and all those people, that's what you're starting to see. And they're directly correlating those things to not again the COVID virus, but mm-hmm. to the effects that we that they imposed on our kids, right? Oh. This is horrific. And we're going to continue to find this crap out for years. All yeah. the cardiological stuff, right? That we're finding out, yes. you know, how many athletes were there and have been and continue to be world class athletes, got vaccinated, got all the boosters having right. massive heart attacks and things like this, best athletes yeah. in the world, all mm-hmm. of those things. We're going to continue to find this crap out for years to come, even truthfully, long after Fauci's dead, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Or, uh, there's no question about it. No question about it. Simply based on what we've already seen happening and, and all of that. And to know that so many people have been so life-alteringly affected in all of the worst possible ways. Uh, People, I, I, there are people I don't talk to anymore, or or rather that won't talk to me because of my choices. And this tore families apart. This is killing people all for a lie, all for an outright lie for, for unnecessary reasons. And you talked about the, the children, you know, of, of course, it's like one of those things, well, of of course, their whole brain chemistry chemistry is is going to be altered. You know, you're taking small children who the first things that they do as part of their development, socialization development, is learning facial features and expressions and all of those things. And it's so fundamental to their development. And now you've taken away all they can see is this. They can't read visual cues from people. They can't read emotional cues. They don't, they lost that chunk of time in their lives. Of course, that's going to have long-term effects. It, it's just, you know, that it all comes out so belated and, you know, it, and we're never going to get an apology. I, I think, and you know, not that that makes it better. Not that if they said, listen, we're really sorry we did this to you guys. Oops, our bad. Let's assume it would be a genuine apology. Not that that's going to change anything that happened, but simply the fact that we'll never get that apology from any of these people who destroyed so many lives and and will continue to because of the after effects is probably the most infuriating part of all of it, you know? Yeah. And and, uh, again, we don't have the testimony yet from Cuomo, which is happening today. Mm-hmm. And and that, you know, is for most of us that remember the decisions that were made in New York were followed like they were kind of the it was the epicenter. And that was yeah. where the trends were. And right. I, you know, I'm in the, you know, in Philly area, which it was it. We watched it happen in proximity. Mm-hmm. It was New York. It went from New York to Philly to New Jersey. And then it exploded across the rest of the country. Whatever decisions were being made. It, yeah, that was kind of the flow of things. And Cuomo made mm-hmm. some decisions. And, and truthfully. You know, the nursing homes and and all of the things that fell under his decision process and and his responsibility, all of that is going to come under fire today. And it should. Yeah. And and in a place like New York, you know, you're if if Fauci thinks that that his life has been disrupted and that people have been threatening him and his family, piss Mm -hmm. off some New Yorkers. Right. Especially when it comes to family and see what happens. Right. You know, so it'll be very interesting to see how what comes out of that testimony. Uh, and then, mm-hmm. you know, kind of, again, as we learn more and more and more about all of this, all of the horrific crap that is going to come out of the woodwork on on COVID in general is it, it, it never ceases to amaze me. But oh, this yeah. this is a story that, you know, is never going to end probably for most of our lifetime. We're just going to keep hearing new stuff. Right. Absolutely. And by the way, you know, this isn't even just and that's enough right there. All of that is enough. But you need to also we need to add to the the fact that there are still people walking around wearing masks, believing yeah. Yeah. that this is going to protect them. There are still people, you know, waiting to get their next booster. There are still people who think that you're a monster or I'm a monster for not getting vaccinated, quote unquote. And there are still social media platforms that will censor us 
for talking about this. And if you don't believe me, guys, I had a video taken down because my guest, it was an interview uh, with the uh, CEO of the wellness company. And um, I, they took down the video and gave me a warning. Why, guys? Because he talked about ivermectin being a a helping uh, a drug that, that's available for COVID and, and other stuff, too. That's the only reason why. That's it. He said he said the word ivermectin, which, by the way, we all know now it has been proven that it is effective in treating <laughs> COVID symptoms. So yep. that's on YouTube. Yep. So obviously this whole section, we can't put this up on YouTube. I can't put this whole part. I'll, I don't. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. We'll figure out what I'm going to do when it comes to editing. Um, but it will be up on Rumble. Um We'll see what happens with Facebook, all of those things. But yeah, YouTube basically gave me a warning, took down the video. I appealed it. They said, no, nope. Sent a sent a message to them saying, you know, all of the things I just said. And of course, no response because they don't let you talk to a real person. So this is what we're still dealing with. We're dealing still dealing with censorship over the topic. We're still dealing with ostracization from, you know, all of this, uh, the, the aftermath and the after effects are so continuous in so many different ways. And, and I really, along with many, many other people, including yourself, I'm sure, um, want to see some consequence. That's it. That's, oh, I just yeah. want to see consequence, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like nothing would please me more. Truthfully. I, I yeah. would rather see, I'd rather see Fauci in jail than Hunter Biden. Same. Same. Yeah. yeah. I had to pick one. Oh, I know who I'd go with. Yeah, absolutely. Crimes yeah. against humanity or some drug addled loser. Yeah. Something. I'm going to take the, yeah. uh, right. I, I, but you know, we yeah. don't, we don't learn our lesson. You know, we, we don't. And, and, we don't. you know, it's slightly switching topics, but you know, the next thing is, you know, Apple just made a huge announcement about AI in all of their phones. Mm. And, and it is, it has garnered such a response uh, that Elon Musk has said he will ban Apple phones from all of his businesses, all of them. That's how, wow. it, like, that guy of all people was like, of nope, all people. this, this yeah. is irresponsible. It's going to get out of control. This is a danger to everybody and everything because it's not be you know it's not being managed properly. I will ban right. it from every one of my businesses, period. Mm. And wow. so what what does that tell? Because it's not a it's not a competition thing, right? No. He, he doesn't have he's not Google, right? He's right. not right. Android. He's not, you know what I mean? He doesn't have an a yeah. competing operating system from mm -hmm. from you know Apple. So it's not that. Right. He, he oh, did he float that out there? Did he float out, float it out there on on X? Uh, I mean, if there's a essential need to make a phone, I'll make a phone. But I got a lot of fish to fry, so. Yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be that'd be interesting if he if he did um, offer something to rival that. Yeah. I don't know, but either way, either way, the whole you know, and we've talked about AI, uh, the infiltration of AI in basically everything we do now, um, and and you know. Quite honestly, it's been going on longer than we generally realize, you know, yeah. the general population longer than we have been aware of it. This has been present in our lives. This is just now openly and available, you know, openly uh, out there and now available to us to use and <laughs> be abused and misused and all of those things. It's a bad call. Yeah, so AI really is, you know, the application for the average person was never there until recently. Or, right. or not, you know, there was no way to apply it or no way to apply it effectively to a normal mm -hmm. person's day, right? Chat right. GPT is probably the first right door opener where everybody, mm -hmm. most everybody could look at that and go, well, I could use it for something, you know, mm -hmm. can't figure out what to write in a birthday card, <laughs> you know, yeah. like whatever it is, they can, yeah, they can, they can yeah. come up with something. AI, as you said, has been around in forms and fashions and, and for mm -hmm. decades, right? I mean, if you right. think about it, autopilot, on an airplane that responds yeah. to, you know, air pressure changes and all those kinds of things that that's all a form of artificial intelligence. And it's right. all just data in reaction, making corrections, continuing to fly mm -hmm. the plane, just as an example. But, right. but 
that was a very specific application, right? Yeah. <laughs> For a very specific purpose. AI, as it's growing, you know, has gotten to the point where it touches everybody, right? It's it's, it's going to yeah. touch everybody. Yeah. And and they know they being you know that that infamous they, everybody's got a phone. Right. If you want AI to touch everybody, that's the way to do it. Just like everything that's else. That's the way. Like, you know, there's, right. there's an app for that, right? <laughs> you know, there's and, an and app that's, for that. But now, literally an app for everything. Yeah. And what Apple's done is they've taken out the choice. There's no mm-hmm. app anymore. It is part of the phone. And that's right. where, yeah, it's like basically part of their operating system, right? It is. And and that's where the big fear is. And that's where Elon Musk is, you know, pushing back is he's like, there's no option. I don't think my understanding is there's no option to turn it off. And truthfully, even if there was an option yeah. to turn it off, I wouldn't believe that shit anyway, because you're never, no, same. you know, we all know, we all know it's listening, right? We've all yeah. had it. I don't care who you oh, are. Yeah. You talk about a topic and five minutes later, you're scrolling through Facebook and there's an ad for the exact thing that you were just talking about there. Yes. It's listening. We all know this. Yeah. Um, but this with it built into the phone. It mm-hmm. by, it's not just the apps, right? You have the opportunity right. to not use apps, to not use social media, to not use Amazon mm-hmm. to not, you have the choice. They're taking right. away that choice. If you're going to have a phone, yeah. an Apple phone, it's going to have AI in it, whether you like mm-hmm. it or not. Yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And, yeah. you know, we, we've seen, and, you know, and the thing is like, you know, there are people that will say, well, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's still a work in progress. They're working on perfecting it. And, you know, quite frankly, I don't want you to perfect it. I don't want it perfected. No, thank you. Like, that's more of a problem. I like to see when I see a, a, a AI generated picture, I like to see that sixth and seventh finger put at awkward angles because you know, it's AI, you know what I mean? So don't get better at it. Don't get perfect at it because, um, you know, we're already in enough trouble as it is. Yeah. I'm not an Apple. I'm very happy to say I'm not an Apple user, any, no Apple products whatsoever. Can't stand them. Always hated them. Always been an Android user. And, um, I always will be probably, even if they do this nonsense too, which I hope that they do, I hope they're smart enough not to, but yeah, yeah, I'm an Android girl. So ha ha Apple. <laughs> Yeah, it, um, you know, this is the the growth of this. Like you said, nobody, you know, the idea of perfecting it, I think, is a is a, a fallacy. I don't think yeah. there is a way to perfect it. Um, perfect AI is, is uh, you know, an Android, literally an Android that doesn't need you as a human being. That's perfect mm. AI, right? Right. Um, and, and that's not where any of us want to get to. I, I don't. Um, no. Nope. And. You know, there's there's simple fears, right? I know that you know in the in the reaches of the entertainment industry, they are already mm-hmm. banking on the fact that actors, writers, um, you know, are are all going to be even musicians are going to be out of work. Um, yeah, they're all going to be replaced by AI. Um, mm-hmm. You're not going to need and and oh by the way, they can replicate. They can make somebody mm-hmm. look just like me, just like you, just like pick your favorite right. movie star. Mm-hmm. They can put together an entire movie that is 100% digital with not a single live actor in it, make it look as completely realistic, and right. they'll be done in one eighth of the time and under one tenth of the cost. Yeah. So there's all of that. But, you mm-hmm. know, the greater thing, and again, it goes back to everything we've seen on television and movies over the years, right? Skynet from Terminator. Like, that's the yes. scariest thing in the world. Yeah. Right? That AI gets to a point where it doesn't, not only it doesn't need human beings, it doesn't want human being. Right. Right. We interfere with what it's trying to do. Mm -hmm. And, and we are not responsible enough to control that right now. And that's what you're, you you know, your point of perfecting AI is Mm -hmm. exactly that. Those people who keep meddling, they keep, let's see, what can it do? What can it not do? Well, if it can't Mm -hmm. do that, let's try and fix it. And then it gets out of it's, it's for its gain of function in Wuhan lab, right? That's what this is. All of a sudden it escapes and then it's all over the world and you can't control it. Yeah. Yeah, right now, you know, we're still dealing with, um, you know, the the issue with the faults in AI are because of human input, you know, human bias, human, uh, well, human input, really. I mean, that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? And, uh, you know, yeah, so it's easier. It's not easy, but it's easier to catch because you can see it. Uh, obviously, the whole Google AI fiasco was a perfect yeah. example of that, you know, when um, it was kind of, you know, quickly discovered that the people that were inputting the information, you know, definitely Black had George. some. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, Black yeah. <laughs> Black George Washington. Of course he was. Duh. Everybody knows he was silly. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, it's um, it, it's scary stuff, and you know, it's like. That the problem is, is Pandora's box has been opened. You can't close it. I, yep. How do you close it? The only way you can close it is to completely eliminate and shut down um, the internet. Like you would have to, it's, and obviously that's not going to happen. You can't, nope. you know, you can't govern it, you know, and goodness knows they, they, they'll try, you know, because that'll somehow benefit them. But you can't. So uh, what do you do? I mean, you just have to, you know, we have to keep up and have like really, really good discernment and be really mistrustful of, you know, which you should be already. You should already, when it comes to the internet, especially uh, in media, you should already be extremely distrustful of what you see and what you hear. You know, I mean, you have to do so many of your own fact checks and obviously so many people choose not to do that. They just take sound bites and just run with it. And, you know, whatever, whatever my internet source just told me must be true because the internet lover never lies, of course, but <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, my favorite are always the ones like, it's like a picture of Albert Einstein and he's talking about, you know, the internet, <laughs> you know, oh. but yeah. And the guy, gonna the guy who's going to protect us, mm. the guy who's going to protect us. Yeah, is our current president. This is the guy yeah. who's going to make sure that we're we're safe, right? He's taking this care guy. of all of us. And if you guys, I don't know if you've got the clip or not, but holy crap! Yeah. Distinguished guests, please welcome the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin III. Second, yes. to a D Day celebration in Normandy, in France, 80th anniversary, right? It marking yes. one of the most historic days in, in the history of the world. And our president couldn't, he got confused getting out of the suburban. Mm. He got, we confused. had like three very distinct moments, right? Getting yeah. out of the suburban, just standing there, like, you know, the apoc apocalypse zombie, just like yep. frozen. Then uh, what was the next one? Was that the, uh, when trying Taps to sit down that everybody's down. now oh. like, they've turned it into a dance. Yes. Like he, he turns, he spins, he turns and spins. He can't, and he can't sit down. And then, and then you have Jill, Jill, feet. really subtle, real subtle, Jill, real subtle, Jill. She's like, <laughs> stand up, <laughs> you know? And, and then at, at the end, when he was supposed to turn around and honor guys older than him, truthfully, yeah. some hundred year old mm -hmm. D-Day veterans, yeah. um, you know, Dr. Jill snatched him up and ran him off stage. Shuffled him, uh, got him shuffling Joe right off the stage. There. Now, there's speculation that that was a uh, bathroom emergency. Yes, um, that is I, widely rumored to have yes. been the case. Yeah. yeah. Mommy, I got to poop. I mean, that's what I, is in my head is like him is it like with this toddler's voice, you know, yeah. and he's and he's got to go. Um, but, oh. it's, you know, and then, of course, and this just pains me so much that the French president who I despise. Yes. Um, had to jump in and he did. And I, and I give him a lot yeah. of props for it. He jumped in yep. and recognized that president Biden was bailing. He was on his way out and he jumped in and he, he shook hands like a good diplomat, right. you know, said thank you to all that greeted and said, thank you to all these D-Day veterans right yeah. up there, filled the gap. Um, mm -hmm. It was a great move on his part, yes. um, but, but shameful and embarrassing for us, you know, incredibly. Um, and then there was another moment too. <laughs> and I think it, and I'll put the clip up there too. Um, they were, I think they were playing taps and they were all, you know, facing, uh, assumably, because it's just them they're showing, it's supposed to face the, the flag. And Joe just randomly turns around and faces the opposite direction of everyone. And he's just standing there staring off into space for a moment. And and everybody around him is kind of like, well, um, oh, OK, well, we'll we'll do that, too, like to save face here to like, you know, make it look like that was intentional. And it was so clear, you know, every step of that was so clear what was happening there. Like, OK, uh oh, well, what do we do? Uh, OK, just turn around with him, turn around with him. You know, somebody's probably in an earpiece going, just just follow his lead. Just follow his lead. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So bad. And, and so if, you embarrassing. Think, if you think it's isolated. And and or or whatever, just mm -hmm. today, just today. Just, did you see it? The Juneteenth thing. 
I is sure it a did. Juneteenth ceremony. He's got I sure did. Vice President Harris standing next to him and she's dancing. They're playing music. I don't know who yeah. else was on the other side of him, but they're dancing and she's singing along. And he is sitting there, like you said, like a zombie. Frozen. Like it is the creepiest. Frozen. Frozen. Yes. He he looks like, you know, he does. He looks like some crazy old man, you know? Yeah. It, it's it's uh it's 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 just <laughs> I can't believe that he is he's continuing to run for president. I can't They're believe anyone's allowing him to run like, for president. Everybody's going along oh. with this, like, oh, this is normal. <laughs> this oh. is normal. I mean, are you even kidding me right now? This feels like the world's biggest joke. It feels like we are living the Truman show and we're all yeah. Truman. Like, you know, we're all like, <laughs> is this yeah. real? How is yep. this real life? How are they, you know, this is, and we've said it many times, people have said it many times over the course of all of these incidents. Every time it's the same statement. This is elder abuse. It is. And, yep. and listen, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. I have zero sympathy for that man, even in this state, because he is a horrible human being. So I don't have sympathy for him. And, you know, God forgive me for that. I, I'll try and find it. <laughs> I don't have it right now, but I mean, this is elder abuse. This, this is well, it, and Jill Biden, another guilty. monster, you know, guilty. just dragging him around, dragging, yeah. you know, this weekend at Bernie's corpse around everywhere and pretending like this is totally cool. Totally cool. Uh, these people are just horrendous, horrendous people. And of course, if somebody asks, because somebody will, of course, I'm going to make a video about that. Of course, I'm going to do a spoof of that. As, <laughs> How could I not? As, that one was a good should. one. As you should. I must. Hey, and, so. and, and this year, right, for those that don't keep track of this, I picked this up as a kid and it's always stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. President election year, leap year, and the Olympics, mm -hmm. the Summer Olympics, used oh, to be boy. all of the Olympics, but now it's just mm -hmm. the Summer Olympics, are all the same year. Okay? Every four years, they all hit the same year. So I, I actually was talking about this with somebody today and they said, is this, is this year the Olympics? They there's been, have you seen any ads for it? Nothing. Like it's not you. a single thing. No. When, you know, when we were talking about topics earlier, you know, like what we were going to be talking about tonight and you said that I'm like Olympics, huh? <laughs> I mean, there's just no headspace for it. Like there's no room in the news feed for it because it is so jam packed with insanity. It's it, it, the Olympics right now are an absolute afterthought. And uh, it's, it's not even, I can't even call it an afterthought for me. It wasn't even a thought. Like I said, when you, when you said uh, Olympics, I'm like, I didn't even know that was happening. So who, yeah. who else guys, who else said that? <laughs> the Olympics, like oh my this was a, every four years, everybody was a Patriot, right? I, right. I mean, Every four years, yeah. everybody was a patriot. Everybody rooted for USA, right? Every time we won. Mm -hmm. And if you remember when you and I were right. younger children, right? It was USA, USSR, medal count. Like, that's all we cared about, right? They had it posted. Yeah, at that's right. They had it, I mean, it was everywhere. You mm -hmm. used to find that all over the place. And and we yeah. cared. And we did. Mm -hmm. And you'd watch you'd watch events you didn't we give did. a crap about just to see if the Americans won, right? Yeah. You'd watch rowing. Yeah, events that you didn't even know existed. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely not. But it was America. Right. It was the Olympics. And we gave a shit how yeah. well we did. And right now, right. you know what? Do you know how people even know the Olympics is going on? Because Caitlin Clark didn't make Caitlin the Olympic Clark. basketball team. Yes. That's why people are like, yes. she didn't make the team. Wait a minute. Is it the, it's like you said, is it the Olympics this year? Yeah. Because they don't know. Because nobody right. cares. You know why? I, I, this is my honest opinion. Yeah. It's not cool to be patriotic. Mm. For the vast majority, even those of us that are, right? And I know you right. are, and obviously, you know, I am. And and I think our friend circles are probably pretty patriotic folks, right? So mm -hmm. we kind of live in it. Yes. But for the vast majority of America, you know, patriotic is not a cool thing to be anymore. It's yep. much cooler to say America sucks and I hate America and America has ruined my life. It's much mm -hmm. cooler to say that. Right. Um, We're oppressed so, here. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's that, right? And, and so- right. It's not cool to root for America, yep. uh, you know, in an Olympic year. Um, so that's why it's not being advertised. I think it's not being advertised and people don't care because it's not cool to be patriotic and love America right now. I think you I have think something cool. there. Sad very sadly, I think you really do have something there. People just don't care. And it's it's not cool 
to to have pride in our country. And that is such a shame. And that actually makes me want to watch it now. Get my get my American flag out. Yeah. I'm gonna get I'll my pay, thin blue. Pay the extra for the Olympics yeah. package on my stream. I'm gonna TV. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my American flag out and I'm gonna get my thin blue line flag out and I'm gonna wave those suckers so high and give my home state of Connecticut and the town of Weathersfield uh, a big middle finger. And I don't know if you saw that story. I'll just very, very You're quickly not. touch on that. Yes, the town of Weathersfield in Connecticut, which is, like I said, my home state, um, decided against flying the um, the thin blue line flag in honor of uh, Trooper Pelletier, who lost his life uh, last week. And um, they declined raising it in his honor, but were willing to lower the LGBTQ, XYZ, ABC, D, E, F, G flag, they were willing to lower that to half staff. You know, the flag that celebrates people's sexuality because that makes sense. So a uh, big F you to Weathersfield for that. Wow. That's, yeah. a, that's a very odd decision all the way around. Like I, yes. if they had said, because I know some people too that, you know, look at the all the flags, the thin blue mm-hmm. line flag, the green line, the red line, all the different right. lines that are out there. People look at it and they say, well, that's not an American flag, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. All right. You know, okay. so they opt not to, especially um, government, government agencies, yeah. you know, who say, you know, we're not going to fly that. It's not an American flag. Okay, right. fine. Right. Um, you know, we're going to stick with the American flag and the POW MIA flag, state flag, yep. whatever. Right. But to say, we're going to fly this other flag, which isn't a flag, right? It's not an official flag. No. And then we're going to lower that to half staff on behalf of someone who it, I'm assuming doesn't mm-hmm. fit into that demographic. Nope. nope that makes absolutely no sense. That is, that nope. is a horrible decision. Nope. Their, their justification. And let me, uh, I will make a clarification. That's not an F you to the town of Weathersfield. There was an F you to the people uh, who had the deciding factor oh, yeah. in the that. Because the town of Weathersfield. Whoever it is. Uh, yeah. yeah, the town of Weathersfield, uh, driving through the town of Weathersfield, uh, I, I have noticed that there are a, an exceedingly higher amount of we support uh, police and the nice. you know thin blue line banners in a lot right. of front yards. Uh, businesses are flying the thin, thin blue line flag. So huge props to them for doing that. And that's, you know, as a law enforcement spouse, obviously that is uh, very heartwarming and gratifying because, you know, you definitely, when you're part of the law enforcement family, you definitely, when things like this happen, you just feel kind of kicked in the face, sure. you know, that, that a man who lost his life serving his community, serving people, uh, keeping people safe. And you can't take, you can't take a hot minute to, you know, give some, some love and respect for that. Shame on them. Shame, shame, shame. And, uh, yeah, what a disgrace. Uh, Yeah. It's actually, uh, it made some national news. Somebody actually said, I haven't heard it. Somebody said Biden even talked about it. I have to, I have to find out if that's true or not, but, but anyhow, I, I took us on a absolute aside, Apologize for that, you didn't, guys. Though. You didn't, though, because you brought us right to the next thing we were going to talk about, which is these. So, Washington State, right? right? Mm-hmm. Washington State, you know, yep. the LGBTQ community is protected for, for mm-hmm. a lot of reasons. Listen, I, mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to, sure. you know, kind of throw that off to the side. They, there's a lot of persecution, a lot of violence for a lot of years. They were pushed to the side, and there's a mm-hmm. lot of acknowledgement that goes on now. However, right. the, the pendulum has swung past center, right? Yes. And, and proof positive is. You know, we spent we've spent months now watching vandalism. We've spent years now watching vandalism to national monuments. We've uh, you know yeah. seen vandalism to priceless pieces of art. Mm-hmm. We've seen vandalism to um, you know college campuses. We've seen all kinds right. of vandalism, you know, in support of things like climate change, Hamas, you know, Palestine, free Palestine, mm-hmm. you know, all of this other stuff. Um, you know, we all remember George Floyd riots, burning cities yep. down and you very know, well, I remember about that, you know, people right. were just expressing themselves. Mm-hmm. They needed to get their anger out and it was all washed right. away. Three kids, three kids, one, kids. I think 19, the other mm-hmm. two under 18 yep. in Washington state on e-scooters, right? Yep. Protecting the environment. They went across an LGBTQ mural on a street. Right. Okay. And, and left skid marks mm-hmm. all over the, the rainbow, uh, you know, painting that was right. on the ground. They got, well, that was okay though, right? Clay? That was What's okay that? though. 
That was, that was yeah. okay for them to do, right? Arrested, arrested and felony hate crime charges. These three kids, right? Uh, unbelievable. The, the lack of, you know, awareness, perspective, how far the pendulum is swung in one direction that, right. that you can have all of this other crap going on mm -hmm. and everybody says it's okay. And yeah. then you get three kids doing truthfully, let's be honest, stupid kid stuff, stupid kid right? stuff. Yeah. That has now turned into a hate crime and mm -hmm. felony charges. They're facing 10 years in prison. These three kids, right? For, it's for so this. insane. It is. It's we so have insane. gone way off the friggin' deep end. We are protecting oh, yeah. certain segments of society, not right. equally, not even mm -hmm. close. Right. And everybody's applauding this shit. It, yeah. It's unbelievable. I can't. I, I can't believe. You know, we've we've lost the bubble on what equality is. We we, right. we have. It's gone. It's out. It's equality mm -hmm. for me, not for you. You know, if you're if you are of traditional American values, you know, if you're of traditional conservative Christian values, any of those things, mm -hmm. nobody gives a crap about you nope. or your safety. You know, your thin blue line example is very much the same thing. Yeah. And and nobody cares. It, it's no. so unbelievable to me that this is not only accepted, but this, I mean, the, the district attorney chose to charge these guys. Like it didn't get to a point where they looked at it and were like, hey, listen, write them a ticket, send them on their way. No. Right. No, we're going to charge, charge them. them. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 We are truly in the upside down. We're just, we are living in the upside down and, you know, something has to give. I mean, we are, we are, we're technically past the point of something's got to give, but I, we're, we're truly there. We're truly at the something big has to give. And I don't know if that means, um, you know, this presidential election, that this is going to turn a tide. Um, you know, I know so many people on the right um, believe that and want that to be the case and feel that's the case. I hope that that's the case. I hope that is the the beginning of the tide turning um, and sensibility coming back. You know, I, I, it's just so far gone. We are so far gone into this other world, you know, this other dimension, which is filled with insanity and hypocrisy and, and lunacy and all of the things <laughs> that I, I, I don't know. You know, I just, I, I hope that the change comes sooner than later. Um, you know, and, and then, you know, I'll throw in my Christian thing as, as a Christian, you know, makes you really hope for the rapture <laughs> really <laughs> makes you hope for it. It's like, come take me now. <laughs> Get me There's, out of this clown show. Yeah. Uh, it, this is a, it's a, it's a massive shift in values. Yeah. Truthfully in the last 10 years, it's mm -hmm. been significant in the last 10 years. There's been a slow drift for a while, but the mm -hmm. last 10 years have been a lot, um, you know, and, and now it's to the point where the the wrongful prejudices of the past mm -hmm. and, and, you know, only a fool doesn't acknowledge that we had, you know, poor prejudices of the past. Right. History is right, what it is. It's a fact. I'm not denying it. I'm certainly not making excuses for it. But right. those prejudices mm -hmm. are now happening in reverse. Yeah, they are. And being um, justified and being justified. Yeah, and, not just justified, but encouraged. Right. You know, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. you know, we talked about this, you know, John Leguizamo, who is uh, an actor, and I yes, don't know if you're familiar familiar with his work, right? Mm -hmm. Leguizamo, who, yeah. yeah. I, there's some stuff that he's done over the years that I like. He plays a great bit in the John Wick movies. He's a, you mm -hmm. know, the car guy that, you yeah. know, and, he, and, and, and he is, he's, he is a talented actor and he plays some really great parts, but yep. he just took out a full page ad. I think it's a New York Times. That encourages people to not vote for white Emmy candidates. I think it's the Emmys or it's the Oscars. It's one or the other. But just blatantly says, don't mm. vote for the white people. That's what it says. It's but so you, crazy. I, and it's okay. Yeah, it's that's fine. That's fine to say. How about, Clay, what do you think will happen if you or I took out a full page ad anywhere? And so don't vote, whatever the thing is, whatever. Pick who your cares? demographic. Whatever it is. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Like, don't vote for the black people. Don't vote for the Hispanic people. Don't give any votes to the Hispanic people. They're bad. I don't like them. What do you think would happen? Well, first things first, the New York Times would never 
allow it. Right. They never, never, ever let you take out that ad. That would never happen. Right. Right. Because why? Hate crime. Okay. Right. right? But mm-hmm. but also that that's not in their that's not in their messaging. That's not socially mm-hmm. acceptable. It's okay to do what Leguizamo did. Right. Why? I don't know because it makes no common sense. I mean, you you can make all kind jump to all kinds of conclusions, mm-hmm. but the reality is it makes no sense whatsoever. Right. But it's but it's okay. Right. And and this is how we've gotten to this rise in anti-Semitism, mm-hmm. which you know that that was so taboo, especially yeah. in Hollywood, you know, yeah. all the way up until <laughs> seven eight months ago. Like right. you you didn't get to do that, and now it's nope. totally okay. And we've yeah. gone off the deep end, and it's you know anti-Semitism, it's anti-Jew, now it's, you know, anti, and it's not mm-hmm. even pro, right, Hispanic, right, which right. Like Mo is. If yeah, it's he, just anti-white. Yeah, It is. Yeah. It is, and it's blatant. It's simply it's, anti-white, un, you know, undisguised, and, you know, a- a- absurd. Can you imagine? Remember, remember once upon a time, you got work and accolades and praise and money for being good at what you do like right. remember remember when that was a thing like it's it feels so far back in our history but merit based merit yeah. based yeah yeah that's yeah. what we were built on work hard yes get ahead that that's yeah. that's it it's not that anymore well and, i and- think you know the worst thing anyone can do at this point at any point in time but especially now is to roll over and take it and and i think the the pushback the pushback is uh, definitely happening you know people are definitely emboldened people that used to get bullied into silence are now speaking up or now saying you know enough is enough this is crap this is ridiculous you know you're seeing some businesses coming forward um more and more businesses coming forward and saying you know what we're not we're not participating in this nonsense we're this no thank you and um um, yeah, I mean, people just, you, you need to be bold and you need to just um, decline, simply decline and outright refuse to participate in the insanity, you know? And that's, the, I, I mean, I think that's the only way right now. You can't just hope it'll go away and ignore it and, and pretend that it doesn't affect your life because we're all affected. Like everybody's affected now by this. Their problem is now everybody's problem. Any problem they have is our problem and obviously our fault because we're apparently white. And by the way, uh, I, I want some new classifications for me. I don't think my skin is white. I mean, th- th- this is white. This is the color white. This is not the color of my skin. And I am offended to be called white. So I would like to be called, I don't know, how am I going to come up with a color? A peach? Listen, I, agree. Elsa, I don't know. You're you're half Cuban. Oh yes, I am. Oh yes, I, but but listen, I don't count. I don't count. I I'm not Cuban enough. I I'm know. not Hispanic enough right. for them. So you know that doesn't count. I'm apparently canceled out by my other whiteness. Yeah, yeah. and I've had people say that to me too. You know, somebody was like, "Oh, look at your white privilege." And I'm like, "Well, thank you, but I'm actually Hispanic." And like, "Yeah, right, you are. You know, you're not. Well, you're, you know, you're, you're not. Oh, okay, you okay. said I'm not, so I guess yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Like, I'll go tell my yeah. dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, tell my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckleheads, I can't stand them. Uh, They're so dumb. Oh, I'm being kind when I say that. So yeah, so um, y'all, the world is crazy. <laughs> Newsflash: I bet you didn't know. We yeah we just we cranked through that was probably the fastest hour I think we've ever had I, I really feel yes. like it we got through how a many lot did of we stuff. through one two three four five seven, six maybe we got six, yeah six or seven oh yeah because yeah. I I kind of segued so we had yeah. seven we, we topics in there tonight we got a bunch um yeah great 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 show yes love it absolutely guys we uh really really appreciate you hanging out with us um i only i only half apologize for my little rant before i don't even know if i fully mean it um i probably only apologize for throwing it in there kind of randomly but clay segued for us clay clay brought it back around town nice job buddy <laughs> no great show great show this was yes. fun we, we appreciate everybody hanging out with us Absolutely. We look forward to seeing you guys next week. More importantly, we look forward to seeing you in the comments. So we had lots of questions for you, lots of uh, stuff to add in there that we'd like to hear your your input. So, uh, Clay, go ahead and, and take them out here. Hey, as always for me, folks, thanks for hanging out with us and uh, keep moving, keep shooting.